So a mysterious package arrived in the mail today, and by the look of things, this is the Tesla's new wireless charger. Now a lot of headlines have been saying that this is a wireless charger that succeeded where Apple failed, and that's not really the case because regardless, I'm unable to charge my Apple Watch, but this does allow you to charge three devices at once. So let's go ahead and unbox this mysterious package and actually see what the final product is. Now spoilers, I have watched a couple of videos and everybody says it's the exact same thing as this is probably Tesla's first product that actually is filled with high quality materials. And I soon hope so because this thing does retail for $300 and in my opinion, that's a lot of money. Especially when you have other competitors out there in the available market like Anchor that have amazing wireless chargers for a fraction of that cost. So it seems to be wrapped in the clear plastic. Apologies if the camera is shaking. This is a new overhead tripod I'm experimenting with. Try to use some stabilization to make the image look smooth. But here it is, Tesla wireless charging platform. Unfortunately, my box has a dent on the side. Unboxing it, smells delicious. And judging by the things, it's very inspirational. Designed by the Cybertruck. Almost looks like the Cyber Whistle. But here's a wireless charger. And I gotta say, it has a really nice weight to it. Hard aluminum, Tesla emblem right there. And from my understanding, this was a partnership with Free Power, made in the Philippines too. But here it is in its fine glory. And when I was watching Jerry Riggs everything, he confirmed that there's a lot of coils in this thing, which does allow it to charge three devices at once, no matter the position, which we'll cover and test out for ourselves in a little bit. But here's the little dock station, which allows you to actually have this position tilted like this or flat surface if you remove and it's held together magnetically too pretty strong magnets too but not that strong cable unfortunately is connected to the platform so you can't remove this as this wire becomes damaged unfortunately so try not to move this cable a lot to prevent it from harming itself the box has a mysterious qr code feel free to scan this and tell me what it says but that's it to the most part now this isn't really unusual. After all, Tesla have tried selling us tequila, which I've actually have purchased and that was cool. But for $300, uh, I don't know. Again, Anchor has some amazing substitutes that allow us to charge three devices at once and it actually includes the Apple Watch. I guess let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in and see how it performs. Now the power adapter is cool and all. It does support 65 watts and can actually wirelessly charge three devices at 15 watts but we're not going to go ahead and use this we're going to go ahead and use this beefy battery bank that i have that can actually charge my laptop three times and just like that our wireless mat is actually plugged in and this little portion right here was indeed illuminating so for this video i'm going to put it on a flat surface so the camera can capture it and let's go ahead and try and charging three devices i have wireless airpods right here just going to randomly select that section my iphone 13 pro i mean 14 i'm sorry Select it here, charging my iPhone. The AirPods are not charging, but it could be because it's dead. My Pixel phone, which might be dead. No, it's charging. Charging my Pixel phone. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a different pair of AirPods because those might be dead and just place them there. It's not charging my Pixel phone, my AirPods though, and they are charged. So to give you a general idea, this is just a 14 Pro, not the Max. This is just your standard size Pixel. I believe the Pixel 4 and the AirPods are not receiving charge. I'm gonna go ahead and try the uh, Google Buds, see if that does anything. It unfortunately does not. I can't wait till someone roasts me in the comment section saying that the Pixel Buds do not wireless charge, but the AirPods are trying to charge, but they're not charging. Interesting. And kind of disappointing. There's a pass-through for the cable as well, and this pa a little stand for your device. But yeah, I'm unable to successfully charge my AirPods. There we go. Now it's charged. If I could angle the Pixel phone to charge at an odd angle. And it is charging it. Pretty neat. But aside from that, there you guys have it. That is the general overview of Tesla's $300 wireless charging pad. Again, this thing is ridiculously expensive, but the material and the quality is top notch. I'm personally genuinely impressed and has a nice metal feel to it. Aside from that, there you guys have it. Hope you enjoyed. This does give me an unbox therapy old school vibe. So if you enjoy these type of quick overview unboxing videos, leave a like, get subscribed, and who knows, maybe I'll give this away if this video gets over 500 likes in the first week. 
Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.